Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and unfortunately, it's not a pleasant day for people that wanted to represent their country in the Olympics. It's a decision we all anticipated coming that there would be no Olympic break so that the NHL could make up the plethora. I think it's like 50 something postponed games now. The plethora of postponed games, and they did officially announce that. The NHL said, uh, with the ha- National Hockey League's regular season schedule having uh, materially disrupted as a result of the increasing COVID cases and rising number of postponed games. The National Hockey League announced today that NHL players will not participate in the 2022 Beijing Olympics. The National Hockey League respects and admires the desire of NHL players to represent their countries and participate in a best-of-best tournament. Accordingly, we have waited as long as possible to make this decision while exploring every available option to enable our players to participate in the 2022 Winter Olympics. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman said, unfortunately, given the profound disruption to the NHL's regular season schedule caused by recent COVID-related events, 50 games, okay, so it's exactly 50 games, have already been postponed through December 23rd, according to this release. Olympic participation is no longer feasible. We certainly acknowledge and appreciate the efforts made by the International Olympic Committee, the International Ice Hockey Federation, and the Beijing Organizing Committee to host NHL players, but current circumstances have made it impossible for us to proceed. Despite everyone's best efforts, we look forward to Olympic participation in 2026. So that's a good sign to see in this release. Obviously, the NHL hasn't been in the Olympics since 14. They weren't there in 18 so I don't think anybody really knew if there was a full guarantee if they would go to the 2026 Olympics. Well, they just said we look forward to participation in the Olympics in 2026. Now, to end out this quote, our focus and goal have been and must remain the responsible and safety complete. Or, or, our focus and goal have been and must remain to responsibly and safely complete the entirety of the NHL regular season and Stanley Cup playoffs in a timely manner. Therefore, with with stringent health protocols once again in place, we we'll begin utilizing available dates during the February 6th to 22nd window originally contemplated to accommodate Olympic participation to reschedule games that have been or may yet be postponed. So this is the right decision for the NHL. It's very unfortunate that these players don't get to represent their countries. But you kind of have to do what you have to do because otherwise they're going to keep getting off of the calendar for the North American season. And they've been saying they want to get back to that. So if you send the NHL players to the Olympics, you have that many games to make up, you're going to start going into the summer again. The Cup's going to start pushing into the So you don't want that to happen. As they said on the release, they want it to be as sim- or as normal excuse me, as possible. Something that was interesting, I think it was Patrick Kane they asked the question to, but if they could somehow move hockey or put hockey in the Summer Olympics also, would he want to do that? And he said it would be weird playing in the offseason, paraphrasing, Uh, but it would still be something that would be an honor. So that's something I figured I would throw out there because I never anticipated hearing that in my life. Um, But it was mentioned on an athletic article when uh, Kane was asked about it. So, I mean, it has to have some weight to it, right? But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been on the NHL announcement. We will not have an Olympic break, numero uno and numero dos, Uh, We will not be going to the Olympics. The NHL players are not going to the Olympics this year. (laughs) Excuse me. But the NHL also announced they look forward to 2026, um, which is a big step because that shows that we're already committed to the next Olympics for these great players in the league that want to represent their country. So stay safe, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Have a great, safe, and a pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the World Juniors that are coming up soon. Peace out.